Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and this is episode 79 of Photo Critiques. And in Photo Critiques, people send me in some of their best work and I critique each shot with suggestions on how they can improve it. And today I'm pleased to critique the work of John McGregor. John sent me in some images of his recent trip to Scotland. And there's not a lot, I'm, you're going to see, John is a very talented photographer, and there's not a lot of tips I could offer him to improve his shooting. Very well done, John. Um, we're going to go through the images, and I'm more going to point out what he did right. Um, also, um, I'm not real familiar with Scotland, so forgive my ignorance when I don't know some of these landmarks, or any of these landmarks for that matter. But, um, it, really cool shots. This first one, I like the developing, and he chose to do it in black and white to develop it for the sky. Uh, very well done, very nice. Th the only thing I could say at this scene is it's a scene that begs like a thousand shots. There's a lot of interesting things that you could probably exploit in this shot. This is definitely a shot I would take. Another one, I think if you got more in the middle of this road and closer and try to utilize these statues as framings on either side of the castle and helped use this road as a leading line to the castle I think that would be a cool shot too um, so you'd be minimized you wouldn't have the clouds as dominant in the shot and this tree would not be in the shot um, also this clock is interesting I try to figure out a way to get that in a shot to try to exploit that um, the steeples at the top the very you know pointed uh, tops of the um, the castle that's itself I'd like to try to I'm calling it a castle I don't know what the heck it is but anyways you know what I'm saying is you get that in the shot too I think that's something interesting to do also someone emailed me and they asked if I could mention the EXIF data and I think that's a good idea I'll try to do it on every shot but I know I'll forget probably on half the shots so bear with me um, in this case it was 1 60th of a second f of 8.0 ISO 100 and we had a uh, zoom lens of 15 to 85 millimeter and this was shot at 15 millimeters so very very wide shooting that wide I'm sure there was some geometric distortion here and John corrected that I'm sure with something like Lightroom so he did a really nice job and uh, the next shot this is a pretty cool shot um, I mentioned before when you have foreground elements that you're going to have out of focus sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't you never really know until you take the shot in this case I think it works it helps frame the house on the hillside very nice done we have a lot of nice different colors in the shot shades of green I think it's a really cool shot this shot was shot at 1 20th of a second f of 8 ISO 100 it was 85 millimeters it was that same 15 to 85 millimeter lens I'd like to point out that if he had shot this at 15 millimeters this these grasses even if he was close enough to make them the same size in the shot they probably would have been in a, a lot better focus the longer the focal length of your lens the less depth of field you'll have so to um, exaggerate this out of focus part in the foreground you would use a longer lens so if John chose to let's say use a 200 millimeter lens and stood further back these would have been probably even blurrier to give you an idea uh, so yeah, 15 millimeter they would have been really in focus 200 millimeter really a lot blurrier so that just gives you an idea so you can learn how to use your lens to add to your shot not just to frame it properly to get the right perspective that you want but to blur out certain things or to keep things certain uh, certain things in focus that you want in focus it's a nice shot of the graveyard it looks like a church over here this is another scene that I say is probably got a lot of really cool shots in this scene if you work the scene I think these graves need to be exploited um, somehow um, you know shooting them side on like this we could see how they're old decrepit kind of half bent over but I think I'm wondering if there's another shot in here where you could shoot with one of these uh, gravestones in the foreground and still get the church in the background so another one where you'd work the scene this one again was at 15 millimeters uh, that same lens 1 1 25th of a second f7.1 ISO 100 this is a really nice shot you know I mentioned all the time is you try to maximize what is good in the scene and minimize what is bad in the scene now in this case as I look at it John shot 
point, you know, shooting down. He pointed his camera down. And I th like that effect. And in this case, the sky looks like it might have been kind of boring. It wasn't a very interesting sky. So he minimized the sky by shooting downward, and he got rid of most of the sky. But what he maximized was the interesting stuff, the city in the background, or the town in the background, or village in the background, and these shades of green in the trees, the colors and the greens, and very nicely done. And we have some leading lines of the walkway and the road. So it's really nicely done, or driveway. This is um, a cool shot of the flower, very muted. It probably was very overcast um, day, 1 60th of a second, f of 5.6, ISO 100, 57 millimeters, um, just to frame it right. I like how he has the B off to the side. It's not bullseye. So in a rule of thirds, it's probably right around in that area where the two lines would intersect on a rule of thirds. Very nicely done. This shot I just like, and I'm not really sure why I like it. I just think it's a cool shot. I like the uh, drama of the sky. I like that the uh, flag is frozen in place. He used a very, very fast shutter speed of 1 2,000th of a second. It's in um, kind of slightly backlit because of the bright sky. Uh, F8, ISO 100, 85 millimeters. It's a really cool shot. This is a really cool shot, too. This ex existing light shot. So we... Uh, you know, John boosted the ISO way up, ISO 2000. You can see whatever camera he uses handles the uh, noise real well. Did a real nice job. Uh, I think this is probably, you know, some type of handle that you'd spin. He has these um, guns going around in a circular fashion. And it's a pretty cool shot. I like the existing light, the way the shadows play on the subject. It's It's just a really, really nice shot. This is a pretty cool shot. Now, I mean... Okay, maybe the you know John was uh, staying in this town and he wanted to get a shot of the city. I mean, he could have opened the window and put his camera out the window and took a shot. But this makes it more interesting. He frames it with the pane of glass. It's a pretty cool shot. We have the leading line of the road. Helps lead your eye through the city. So remember that when you're shooting. Look for the uh, out of ordinary. You want to get a shot of the city. Look of a way maybe you could frame it or you could utilize a leading line or do something like that to help enhance the shot. And I like what he did here. This again was 1 30th of a second f3.5 ISO 125 and 15 millimeters. This again, this is might be my favorite shot. I think this is probably a police station. I can see from the badge and it says officers here. This um, out of focus statue in the foreground just just you know makes the shot jump out at you and it's a pretty cool shot. So it's really a shot of what is being said in this like um, monumental plaque above a doorway it looks like. But this um, face here just adds to the shot too. So it's a really cool shot. Again, look for the out of ordinary. Look for things that you could, um, you want to get a shot of this, um, you know, this right here. You could stand right in front and shoot up at it and get a shot. Or you could add some interest and get this um, statue's face slightly blurry in the shot. This was 1 50th of a second f of 4.5. ISO was real high again, 6400, 27 millimeters on that same lens. It's a pretty cool shot. We, you know, it, the sky's interesting. We have the lines of the roads or the, you know, paths, and um, pretty cool shot. Um, you know, it's front lit. You know, it's nice shot. It's just a nice record of where he was, the hillside and the buildings, really nicely done. It's another uh, framing shot where we have the um, bridge um, partially framing whatever is on this kind of uh, rock jetty going out here on them you know it's uh could be a church i see a cross here it's pretty cool looking the sky looked like it was kind of boring so john uh, again minimized the sky the sky by getting this bridge in the shot and helping framing where he wants you to look he wants you to look right here and it helps um, bring your eye to that shot and this was 1 640th of a second, f of 8, ISO 100, 85 millimeter on that same lens. This is a pretty cool shot, too, of the Royal Society of Edinburgh. Very nicely done. This is 15 millimeters, so I know there was probably some geometric distortion here, but John corrected for it in post. It's a twilight shot. It was shot at f of 4, so we kind of have a glow on the lights. If, you know, he had a tripod, 
and he could have shot it um, maybe f13 he would have had the starburst effect going on the lights if if the lens would have afforded for it which i think it does i'm pretty familiar with that lens i think it does so um you know it's a really nice shot again a, a record of where he was and what he saw and I think that's it for John. Yep, that's the last shot. So um, thank you very much, John, for sharing your excellent images with us. Um, I really do appreciate you sending them in. I'm sorry I couldn't offer you too many tips on how you can improve your shots. You're a very talented photographer. Thank you um, again. And I'd like to thank everyone who watches all my videos. I really do appreciate it. And if you have time, go over to my website, anthonymorganti.com. I have all kinds of photography stuff over there for you to look at. And if you didn't already, please go to YouTube and sub subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate that. And that's it for Episode 79. I'll talk to you guys soon.